Hi guys, this is Mario Kart. Um, somebody asked me to do a tutorial on modding Resident Evil 4, so I'm going to do that. But um, I don't completely know everything. Uh, I don't know how to do the animation modding or some of the other stuff they're doing on here now. Basically, I was around when they were doing just texture mods and some basic uh, model importing. For, then after that, they did some other stuff, and I just I don't even know any about it. I don't, I don't even know anything about it. So yeah, if you're new to modding, uh, come here. It's uh, visionfree.com, Resident Evil 4 PC, blah, blah, blah. Uh, these guys have tools for you, mods for you, even guides for you to uh, help you get started on modding. And uh, heck, it's even got a guide on how to use 3D Max, <laughs> which is what I was going to show you guys. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys from the beginning and um, walk you through. And also, oh wait, Gamma's got a pretty good uh, guide here. Anyway, um, he's actually, yeah, these are the same uh, tools you're going to be using, uh, except you're not going to be using the recent SMD PMD converter, just because you have to go and install Perl, and installing the proper Perl seems to be like jumping through hoops, and I just don't want to deal with that. So I'm not going to put you guys through that. Uh, Gamma doesn't even talk about how to install Perl. Uh, Perl, by the way, is a coding language, and you need libraries to run programs for it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the DOS tools I have work just perfectly fine without it. Well, they still use Perl, but you don't have to install anything. Anyway, let's go to RE4. Say you just installed it. Um, what's going on here? Okay, so you just installed it. It's probably going to go to C drive, uh, but in program folders or program files, I mean, CatCom Resident Evil 4. And in there, you're going to have these files here. And if you notice, they are labeled DAT files. Uh, you won't have any folders just yet. Um, to get folders, you're going to extract these. And uh, in fact, these are compressed with GCA. So when you impact these, you'll get a bunch of other files inside. And uh, uh, the unique thing with Resident Evil 4 is once you unpack these and you uh, get rid of the DAT files, uh, it'll actually read directly out of the directory. Uh, and the good thing about that is uh, it you can just go in there and change a texture or change a model, and uh, they go and that's it. You just go back in the game and it's modded. So uh, it's quick and it's easy. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you how to extract your DAT files, uh, but for this one, I'm only going to show you how to do the X file. Um, you only really need you only really need, you only really need the X file for now because uh, it has the uh, bosses and characters in it and uh, the weapons. So there's no need for the other ones. Oh, itchy. Um, the other ones have uh, geez, music, uh, individual st uh, stages and stuff. You don't need that right now. Anyway, uh, like I said, you need GCA. It's actually a uncompressor or decompressor. You can download that here. I'll give you guys the link. And I'll also give you guys a folder with it already in it and some other tools. Like uh, the TGA thumbnail view. Or if um, uh, Well, most of you probably don't have this yet. But um, Windows XP doesn't open TGA. And what TGA is, is it's an image format. That's TGA here. Okay. You're probably familiar with um, JPEG or GIF or PNG. Well, this uses TG, TGA. It's pretty common. Uh, I recommend you get Photoshop or PaintShop. I got PaintShop here. But uh, if those aren't an option for you, uh, I read somewhere about paint.net so you get paint.net pretty sure that handles TGA too anyway we're not really going to focus much on TGA right now because uh, that's just images we're going to focus more on uh, importing model files okay anyway let's let's get let's, before I get ahead of myself your X file yeah okay so GCA you've downloaded that you don't have to install it just open it up Structure file, 
and uh, we're in the RA4 directory, but you can see it hasn't found any, it hasn't found any GCA files. So um, I know its its extension is DAT, so I could just go xfile.dat and then go open, and it would open. But um, to do this the proper way, you should probably turn on extensions for your Windows. So go to Tools, Option or Folder Options. Um, uh, view, and then, yeah, uh, you want to untick hide extensions. Okay, and press OK, and you see now we have an extension to the file name, which is a three, which is which is a three-letter character. Uh, or yeah, and um, this just tells Window uh, that th that DAT is supposed to be handled with a certain program, and we want to change that handle to something different. Uh, where's my X file? Yeah, so we want to change that to GCA. Yeah. And now if we look, oh, I want to compress, extract. There. And yeah, so I renamed the file and it's come up now. Uh, by the way, um, Windows by default it uh, disables you from seeing these, just to protect you from yourself. Because if you renamed Say if this was a like a a movie file, it would be called MPG, and if you were to rename this to like that, your movie would be it wouldn't even work anymore. So it's just to protect you from yourself. So if you turn that on, it won't harm you at all. Uh, you'll just be able to change what program op opens it, right? So if I double click on that, oops, that was wrong. If I double click on that, like a meteor player would try to open that. See what I mean? Anyway, put it back to GCA. Yes, and go here, and extract that, double click on that, don't touch any options, just press OK, and it's supposed to be extracting right now, but since I already extracted mine, put mods in mine, I'm not going to overwrite, no, don't, uh, so anyway, yeah, just extract yours, and after that's done, you'll have a folder called xfile, now we can dive into that, um, And, um, yeah, this is what's inside. Uh, I don't know what these are, actually. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, this is the enemy folder. Inside the enemy folder, you have enemy, and then a se sequence of numbers and letters. Uh, I haven't interpreted, interpreted these yet, but down here, the PL files, which are the player files, I have. And, yeah, here's a list here. Yeah, so you got, you got Leon, Krauser, stuff for Burks and stuff in here, even the police guys. So yeah, uh, what, I was, what I was planning on doing is putting a character over Hunk and Mercenary. So he is here, PL06. Uh, where is that? And there we go. As you can see, uh, yeah, that's that's him, all right. <laughs> okay. Um, these are the model files, by the way, PMD models. TGA textures. Um, to import PMD, we're going to use that PMD converter that this guy had, but we're not going to use because you need Perl for it. So I'm going to go back to the toolkit that I'm going to give you guys. Um, I should probably organize this better, but. Um, And you're just going to copy these seven files, oh. these nine files. Okay. And next file, and enemy, and PL6, paste. And uh, what we're going to do is click on PMD to SMD, and then just hold enter down. It's going to give you a bunch of crappy inputs. Oops, what do I do? Okay, don't press center. <laughs> anyway. And all that did was it converted the uh, PMDs to SMD. And, uh, yeah. You just copy the URL, and I'll just import that to show you guys. I'm using an SMD importer. And you can see I can import characters. Voila. Isn't that cool?